As he approached the green light, he noticed another car not moving and he assumed that the driver wasn't paying attention. It turned out that the other driver had stopped for another reason, one AJ couldn't see or hear until it was too late. A San Francisco police car T-boned AJ's car and pushed it into a light pole, totaling both vehicles. Later investigation revealed that the cop car hit AJ's driver's door at 32 miles per hour. A witness said that the cop car accelerated before the impact and both vehicles' airbags deployed. The official police report stated that the officer had slowed down for the intersection, and since AJ didn't have a comprehensive insurance coverage, he got nothing in the way of compensation at being found at fault. John was driving down a narrow road in Germany when he lost control of his van while trying to pass another vehicle coming in another direction. Each driver moved to make room for the other, but John's van lost traction serving off the road, rolling over before finally stopping. John was taken to the hospital in an ambulance, but he was able to leave the same day. Unfortunately, his van was totaled. Thankfully, he was able to replace it with a new one. Vinnie was driving in Houston, Texas when she noticed a white Model 3 behind her going in and out of traffic. Just as the Tesla was passing her, the driver narrowly avoided hitting an SUV. Vinnie wasn't sure if the driver applied the brakes or if autopilot saved him. Take a look at Vinnie's speed. She was going 80 miles per hour and the Tesla seemed to be going even faster than her. Michael was looking to his left for traffic when the other driver in front of him stopped at a yield sign for no reason. He hit the car at 20 miles per hour, denting the rear bumper cover and taking out his own front bumper cover and headlight. The other driver told Michael at the time that he wasn't injured. Later, he claimed that he was injured and tried suing Michael for half a million dollar in damages. Susan was driving in Chicago one night when the driver of an SUV tried to cut around traffic by creating his own lane, but it didn't work out the way he had hoped. Steve was driving his Honda Insight when he noticed a Hyundai Velocitor speed past him. As the Velocitor passed a black Hyundai, the black car drifted to the right, causing the Velocitor to swerve to avoid it. The Velocitor hit the black car, sending it straight for the light pole. He emailed his dash cam footage to the officer who was investigated the accident, but he never heard back. Suddenly, the driver of a Ford ran a stop sign. Robert expertly maneuvered between the cars parked on either side of the street, managing to only scratch one of them. Unfortunately, his car was totaled. Even worse, Robert's mother had to receive medical treatment for almost a month. He also had joint pain from yanking the steering wheel so hard. The Ford's insurance provider went bankrupt, and it took Robert almost eight months to get a settlement of over 6,000 US dollars. James was on his way to school with four other passengers on a bright, sunny New York day. Suddenly, the driver of a Honda Civic pulled in front of his Chevy Malibu. The impact was so hard that the Honda was pushed into a Toyota Sienna, making this into a three-car accident. James had been honking his horn when the impact occurred and the airbag broke his wrist when it went off. The Honda driver was cited for failing to signal. James had no idea why the Honda driver didn't see him, but he assumes the guy was on his phone. This submitter was driving her car in Yonkers, New York, when the driver of an unmarked van made an illegal U-turn across her lane. Unfortunately, the submitter's vehicle was totaled. Uh, the driver of the van then took off, turning this accident into a hit and run. The submitter contacted the police, but they had no luck in deciphering the license plate number. He was driving down the express lane when he was passed by a Chevy Camaro at high speed. Unfortunately, the driver didn't seem to be paying much attention. The Camaro hit a pylon while exiting the express lane and sending debris flying everywhere, while the Camaro driver kept speeding down the highway, minus a few trim pieces it looks like. Ronald was driving down the California highway when traffic began slowing down. When he checked his rearview mirror to see what was happening behind him, he heard a loud bang and saw a Civic behind him lunge forward. A silver Chevy had rear-ended the Civic, but the driver was already on the brake pedal and managed to not to rear-end our submitter. He wasn't surprised as he noticed the Chevy speeding earlier. Thankfully, everyone was able to pull over safely and our submitter noticed that the road was cleared when he went back the other way 20 minutes later. Mark was driving down an Australian highway when he witnessed a tree branch attack. 
Mark turned around to check on the driver, but it looks like the tree branch just barely missed the Mazda.